Buster Keaton, born Joseph Frank Keaton the IV on October 4, 1895, in Piqua, Kansas, was an iconic figure in the silent film era, known for his stoic expression and innovative physical comedy, often referred to as the Great Stone Face. Due to his trademark deadpan demeanor, Keaton's influence on the film industry remains profound and lasting. Keaton was born into a vaudeville family. His parents, Joe and Myra Keaton, were seasoned performers who quickly involved their young son in their act. At just three years old, Keaton became a part of the Three Keatons, where he honed his ability to perform physical comedy and take pratfalls with a straight face. The young Keaton quickly became a crowd favorite, with his performances laying the groundwork for his future in film. There's a famous anecdote about how Keaton got his nickname. It's said that Harry Houdini, a family friend, gave him the name Buster after Keaton fell down a flight of stairs as a toddler without injury. Whether or not this story is entirely true, the name stuck, and Keaton's ability to take physical punishment became a key element of his comedy. Keaton's transition to film began in 1917 when he met Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle, a well-known comedian of the silent era. Arbuckle invited Keaton to appear in his short film, The Butcher Boy, which marked the beginning of a fruitful collaboration. Keaton's natural talent for physical comedy and his technical curiosity led him to quickly grasp the possibilities of the film medium. Over the next few years, Keaton and Arbuckle made numerous successful comedies together, with Keaton taking on increasingly significant roles. During this period, Keaton was drafted into the U.S. Army during World War I, where he served in France. Despite the interruption in his career, Keaton returned to Hollywood with renewed energy and ambition. By 1920, he was creating his own short films, starting with One Week, a brilliant comedy that showcased Keaton's inventiveness and physicality. The 1920s were Keaton's most prolific period, where he created many of the films that would later be considered classics. His feature-length films, including Sherlock Jr., 1924, The General, 1926, and Steamboat Bill Jr., 1928, are celebrated for their innovative stunts, clever use of special effects, and most notably, Keaton's impeccable timing and physical comedy. The General, in particular, is often cited as one of the greatest films of all time, praised for its blend of comedy and action, as well as Keaton's daring stunts. Keaton was not just an actor, he was also a director, writer, and producer, often taking on multiple roles in the production of his films. His creative control allowed him to experiment with visual storytelling and to push the boundaries of what was possible in silent cinema. Despite the physical risks involved, Keaton performed almost all of his own stunts, including the famous scene in Steamboat Bill Jr., where the facade of a building collapses around him, with only a small window saving him from being crushed. However, Keaton's career took a downturn after 1928, when he signed a contract with MGM. The studio's rigid control over film production stripped Keaton of the creative freedom he had enjoyed during his independent years. The transition to talkies, sound films, further complicated his career, as the studio system began to prioritize other forms of comedy that didn't rely on physical stunts. During this period, Keaton also faced personal challenges, including a difficult divorce and a struggle with alcoholism. Despite these setbacks, Keaton continued to work in the film industry, albeit in less prominent roles. The 1940s and 1950s saw a resurgence of interest in his work, and he began to appear in cameo roles in films such as Sunset Boulevard, 1950, and Limelight, 1952. Keaton's contribution to cinema was recognized with an Honorary Academy Award in 1959, and his films were rediscovered by a new generation of filmmakers and audiences. Buster Keaton passed away on February 1, 1966, but his legacy as one of the greatest comedians and filmmakers of all time endures. His work during the silent film era is still studied and celebrated for its creativity, physical comedy, and technical innovation. Keaton's influence can be seen in the works of modern filmmakers and comedians who continue to draw inspiration from his pioneering style. Keaton's films, particularly from the 1920s, remain timeless pieces of cinematic art. His ability to blend comedy with intricate stunts and visual storytelling has cemented his place in the pantheon of great filmmakers. Whether through his daring stunts or his stone-faced humor, 
Buster Keaton's contributions to the art of cinema will never be forgotten. If you enjoyed learning about this legendary figure, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more captivating stories from film history.